How to set a user-defined SN curve in Bentley Sachs Fatigue. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Lara. I'm a structural engineer, specialist in offshore structures analysis and design. One of my duties in Bentley is to help our users succeed in their offshore structural projects when using either Bentley Sachs or Open Wind Power Fixed Foundation. Folks, we got some questions from our users that were having issues when trying to define their own ascent curves. Therefore, I decided to record this video and I'll show you how to set a user-defined ascent curve in Bentley Sachs fatigue and that you can use it later in your fatigue analysis, right? Oh, let's take a look at what we have here. We have a Houston curve to be defined and the data for this curve I'm gonna get from the DNV North Sox curve T, okay? I'm gonna get the real data that they have in this DNV. If you wanna take a look at the DNV, is the DNV RPC203 in 2.4.5 and table 2.2. And I'm gonna get the data from there, and I'm gonna use this data for our Houston curve, right? And there you're gonna find uh, these stress ranges and these cycles associated, okay? And also you're gonna have the endurance limit, which is this one, right? I'm gonna use all this data and with the reference thicknesses of 32 millimeters and the thickness ratio power to create our custom curve. And then I'm gonna create a, a very simplified fatigue analysis just to make sure the program is processing correctly all the data, okay? So let's go to SAX right now. And to run a fatigue analysis, first we have to run the basic static analysis to get the stresses. Right? And I created this model. It's a very simple model. It's a tubular T joint. Okay. And we're gonna analyze this joint and this brace. The local axis points from one towards two. So we're gonna look at the uh, zero station. We have here a outside diameter of 30 centimeters and the thickness is 3.2. So in this case, as the Thickness is the same as the thicknesses that we used as the reference. It won't interfere in our results. Okay. Um, what else? We have the loads. We have a load in a joint two in the x direction of 5000 kilonewtons. Okay. Yeah. Need to show you that the mat we are using metric units. Yeah, I think that's it for the model. Let's close this. And I already run this analysis and I got the sex common solution file and the listening file. In the listening file, if you scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see the member one, two, and station zero. You're gonna have 185. 0.58 newtons per millimeter square. Okay, this is the stress range that we're gonna use. I'm gonna make it from zero up to this value. Yeah, and let's go back to our notes. And here we have the stress range. 
if, if we enter in a curve with this stress range, we're going to get the number of cycles. And we are considering this number of cycles. Okay. And if we calculate the damage for this, we're going to have this. Let's uh, keep this value of 0 0.11. Now we're going to run SACS, the fatigue analysis. We should get the same value. All right. So let's create now a fatigue analysis. Create using data gen, we're gonna create a fatigue input file. Go to process post processing tab, fatigue input file. And the first line we're gonna use is the fatigue options. As I'm doing something very simplified, I don't wanna design life in safety factor or anything that impacting the result. I'm gonna use one. Also for the SCF, I'm gonna prescribe then as one. And the SN curve. We're gonna select this option, user specified label from the SN US user input data. You don't need to fill this right here. Let's jump to the second line. And let's find the user defined SN curve. There is another one here, and this one is more complete. You have more options here. I would recommend you use this one, right? And first thing we're gonna see that the units are not the same. It doesn't matter, but it's it's good to see what kind of units we are working on. So let's change it to metric units because. Uh, we are using metric units in the input file and the fatigue program is going to read these units from the sax common solution file and it's going to work in these units. So it doesn't matter uh, what type of units you're selecting here. It, it will understand you are inputting here is always kilonewtons per centimeter square. So just uh, be aware of that. Okay, and the first thing you're gonna change here is the SN ID curve. Let's use D and T. Okay, uh, endurance limit. Yeah, we do have one. Let's set to yes. And minimum thickness is 3.2 centimeters. Okay, uh, the thickness ratio power is 0.25. And here, you're gonna input the stress range. Okay, the numbers that I showed you in the beginning, they are in neurons per millimeter square. To change it to kilonewtons per centimeter square, we have to divide by 10. So let's input 38.742. And so on. Okay, this two last, uh, you can have we can leave it then blank you just need three points all right okay and we define the id here and when you see something in data gen with x uh, normally you have to input something that and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna input 
the ID here. All right. And the next step is to, since we def prescribed uh, maximum and minimum SCF, I have to define them. Let me use Okay, gonna use one for both. Just make sure you're gonna have the SCFs as one. I'm gonna use the joint selection. Select the joint one. Just make sure you're gonna have only the information for joint one. And the next one is the fatigue case. And we're dealing with uh, deterministic fatigue analysis. So I'm gonna use this one. Environment gonna use one. And the number of occurrence is gonna use 10,000. And now the fatigue case contribution. And I'm gonna delete it. Don't need to do that, but uh, I, I like to do. And the load case is one. Okay. Uh, this this comes from the common solution file. So you won't have the name exactly the name that you uh, used in sac input file if you use a name there for instance uh, fx you won't have uh, the fx in your sax common solution file you're gonna have one you're gonna have a, a number okay so uh, pay attention to that i'm going to hit apply and that that's it let's put an end here and Save this as dgmp.fatigue. Okay. All right. Now we can go, let's set the file ID as fatigue. And let's select post processing and then Determine is fatigue. Let's select the fatigue input file that we just created. And let's get the sex common solution file from the basic static analysis. Okay. Right here. All right. Let's run the analysis. All right, no errors. Let's open up the distinct file, scroll down to the bottom, and there we go. Okay, zero point, it's almost 11, right? Uh, and the, the joint one, brace one, one, two, and the SF we prescribed as one, all right? And also you can find it the, the curve right here, right? And that's all folks. Uh hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any doubts, you can use the comment sessions to make your questions and I'll be glad to answer. And thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a like. We also would appreciate your comments and suggestions. And don't forget subscribing to get more updates and contents like this. All right? See you all later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.